Hello, this is Jenny Brandt with Unleash Your God-Given Healing. Today we're going to look at seven reasons we need to drink more water. How many times has a doctor told you that you need to drink more water? It's the first step of eight in my book, Unleash Your God-Given Healing, because it's the first step I learned, and it has the most benefits for the cost, which is zero cost. Hydration benefits every cell, every organ, and every system in our bodies, including our most important immune system. I'll never forget this anecdote that my optometrist, Dr. William Jenkins, shared with me several years ago. You see, a mother had brought her teenage daughter in to see him for the first time visit. She normally had perfect vision, but overnight her vision had drastically changed. After performing the usual test, he found nothing was wrong. So he asked the mom to increase her hydration for a week and then bring her back. Bingo, her vision was back to normal. It's amazing that dehydration can actually impact our vision. I gave you this example so you can see that every part of our body needs proper hydration to function as God intended. Here are seven major benefits of proper hydration, but not the only benefits. Number one, it improves digestion. Adequate water is needed to make saliva, to break down food, and move nutrients and waste through both the small and large intestines. It's the water with much needed fiber which allows this movement. When you are dehydrated, constipation can stop this progress and make your life most uncomfortable. If you have consistent constipation, you just simply need to drink more water. Number two, it supports detoxification of our bodies. Your liver and kidneys require sufficient hydration to clean the blood, produce urine, and eliminate waste through the kidneys. If you have kidney stones, guess what? The first thing your doctor will tell you is to drink more water. When you have a cold, flu, or COVID today, it's best to increase your water intake to help heal from the illness. Your body needs water to produce snot, phlegm, because these carry germs and bacteria out of your body. Even the mucus lining in our noses is empowered by water. It acts as both a defense mechanism and a means of eliminating what is causing the inflammation. And we've all blown that out before. <laughs> Number three, it improves brain function. Our brain needs proper hydration for us to be able to think. Dehydration can cause headaches, seizures, even death. If you have a headache, you might consider drinking more water. I'll never forget when a friend's daughter ended up in the hospital with seizures. After a week of testing, the doctors finally told her it was due to dehydration. She simply needed to, you know what I'm gonna say, drink more water. Yes, her seizures were caused by dehydration. Number four, it regulates blood pressure and body temperature. Chronic dehydration is one of the causes of high blood pressure because it causes the body to hold on to sodium. It can also make your blood too thick if you're dehydrated, which can lead to strokes and heart disease. For these reasons, your cardiologist will want to make sure you are drinking enough water. Dehydration also results in a higher core body temperature. This is why your family doctor tells you to increase hydration when you have a fever and before and after strenuous exercise. Number five, believe it or not, 
Hydration keeps cartilage and joints lubricated and flexible. We all need this, especially as we age. 70 to 80% of your cartilage is made up of water. It's the fluid located behind your joints in your hips, your knees, your shoulders, hands, and feet that gives you that much needed cushion. Proper hydration helps reduce friction in the cartilage and provides smooth and sustained movement in the joints. Your doctor may well recommend hydration to relieve pain and improve mobility before he sends you to the physical therapist or to surgery. Number six, hydration transports nutrients and oxygen throughout our body and much needed. We need both nutrients and oxygen to be delivered to every cell in our body. And dehydration can prevent this from happening. When a patient is undergoing chemotherapy, as I did, Increased hydration two days before, the day of chemo, and two days afterwards lessens the side effects and assures that the chemo reaches every cell. Number seven, last but not least, it reduces your risk for the C word, cancer. Your immune system, which includes your lymphatic system, needs sufficient water to protect your body from disease. It takes both movement through exercise and hydration for this all-important lymphatic system to protect your body from foreign invaders. It also transports and removes waste and abnormal cells from your body. Since my cancer journey, I've heard many doctors say, chronic dehydration opens the door to cancer and you don't want to open that door. Now you know why so many doctors tell their patients to drink more water. It's clear that water impacts every cell, every organ, every system in our body. Next time you have a headache, feel weak or dizzy, or experience digestive issues, joint pain, or feel a cold or flu coming on, consider water as a nutrient before you reach for that medication. By the way, almost every prescription drug has dehydration as a potential side effect. So check the side effects for the drugs you take because you may need to increase hydration on a regular basis for these medications. Increased hydration also helps you to lower the toxic load in your body. No wonder doctors feel like a broken record. I certainly know they did in my case. I was told this many, many times. In John 4:14, 4, Jesus made a powerful analogy to water. And no one should ignore this. He said, whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. Here he's comparing our spiritual need of him, which is crucial to our body's physical need for water, which is also important. Consider water a God-given healing elixir to nourish and hydrate every cell in your body. So drink to good health. I hope this information has been helpful for you. I hope that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share it with those you think might be interested. Also, click the notification bell so you will know when I post new information. Until then, here's to your health and God bless. It's good. <laughs>